Okay, so I've never made a video before, so we're just going to let it run. And I'm going to talk and hopefully not say anything dumb. Um, but uh, this is my first video and we're going to be making um, flower pots with uh, little succulents on them. Um, I'm using two companies today. This one is uh, Nurture Soap. Um, I get my melt and pour base from them. It's really nice. It's a, a dry base, so it doesn't sweat as much as other melt and pour does. Um, I have about one and a half pounds right here. And then the, uh, the fragrance that I bought is uh, from Nurture or Nature's, Nature's Garden. Don't get those too confused, I will. Um, it's called Fresh Outdoors, and it's supposed to smell like, like camping out in the, in the open air with grass and flowers and all kinds of nature things, and I don't know how. Um, what I like to do when I want to get creative with, uh, with this stuff is I will get a paintbrush, and I will... Kind of go in here. I need a little cup. There's a way to do this much easier than I'm about to do, which uh, involves clear. Um, but I don't have clear. I have I have uh, the milky stuff. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of the glitter into a cup and close that up because uh, this is precious, precious gold to me. We are not losing any of that so I'm just gonna tap the brush in there a little bit and what you do is you go in there you know some people like to do this for uh, resin casting or other soap uh, you know uh, purposes I found that it it works if you make sure that the brush touches every single corner because if you don't there's going to be lumps we've got this it's quite shiny it's quite pretty and hopefully i'm just tapping out the excess hopefully it's not crumbly or terrible in any of the uh, the little nooks and crannies in there so so what I'm gonna be using is this color it's called the lime appeal um, nurture soap only place I get my pigments from free shipping over $30 I love them they are my favorite so I have my little cat spoon over here my friend Roxanne gave me this cat spoon <laughs> Very cute. It's got a kitty on it. So this is not a large amount of soap and I'm just gonna throw it in there. So I'm just gonna get some green in there. Two little scoops. I mean to me that looks en enormous because I really actually don't use that much uh, mica in my soap. I don't like it that dark. Um, but we're, we're going for reality here and it's already getting a skin. The, the skin is when the, uh, the top part of the soap cools and, uh, it starts becoming solid, but when you start mixing it, it will go back to the uh, temperature that the, uh, the other soap is at and it's nice nice green color. The lime might be a little too light for what I had in mind, but it's gonna work for my disaster video. <laughs> so we're gonna put this mold down and I'm just gonna fill the big ones first because I want the big ones. Melt and pour soap loves moisture and it will turn to slime 
if you just breathe the wrong way. Like, don't be afraid of it. You know, just handle it normally. Handle it properly. But do not put it in the fridge. Because I guarantee you, 1000%, if you put it in the fridge or you put it in the freezer, it's going to turn into some sort of gummy, disgusting texture that you wouldn't want to ever touch. <laughs> it's really bad. And um, I learned this the hard way. <laughs> So you need to be patient. All right, I think that we can uh, start taking them out of the mold now. So I'm gonna put my gloves on in an effort to be hygienic. <sighs> Hate these gloves so much. <laughs> They're too big for my little tiny hand. Um, oh, sorry, that was that was a glove. That was not me. Um, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna. Pull it. Oh, this really hurts. This is probably a bad idea with... Oh, there we go. Okay. So. We're going to try to break the seal on the soaps. This isn't a very uh, deep mold, so it shouldn't have a lot of problems coming out. But the only problem with this is that it has a lot of texture on the bottom. So you're pulling the soap out and there you are. There it is. So remember, this is a disaster video. This isn't supposed to, uh, this isn't supposed to be a successful video. Um, <laughs> I don't have a lot of, uh, Mango Tango Mica from Nurture Soap left because I used it in another thing that I made. But I might have a good amount left for this. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna do three because I really want a good orangey color. And Mica tends to soften a little when you put it in a white base. Yeah, you know, don't worry about lumps. Don't worry if it's a little chunky. Worry if you can pour it. If it's turning into paste while you're trying to um, disperse your color, then you need to zap that thing for another 10 seconds. Um, if it's chunky on the bottom, if you scrape the bottom and something comes up, you need to put that in there for another 10 seconds. But right now, for my purposes, this is pretty good. Um, you have to do a calculation of your fragrance compared to the amount of soap that you're making. Um, this one says, oh, they usually say. This one doesn't say. Well, okay, so the... Um, the percentage on uh, the website that I usually read is usually something between three or two percent to five percent of oil. So these are actually very concentrated. You don't want to put a lot of oil into this stuff. These guys, I make everything with these guys. Um, I've made bath bombs, I have made soaps, I have made all kinds of stuff. And um, it doesn't matter if it chunks. Remember that it does not matter if it chunks. You're trying to get it to the top. Don't let it overfill. You don't want to waste it. Um, just try to make it as even a pour as you can. Don't worry about the skin. The skin is part of the soap. Don't try to remove the skin. I have seen people try to remove the skin after the soap starts hardening and that's not the point of making soap. The point is to leave the soap alone so that it hardens. I took this out just in case there was an overpour. You can use a spatula if the, uh, if the, the soap is still soft enough and scrape it away uh, from the, the edge of the mold to help make your edges more clean. Okay, so these guys have been sitting for a while and they're nice and, uh, and set. 
and cool it off. I'm wearing my hideous gloves again. I hate them so much. Thank you, the Dollar Tree. And uh, basically, so we just pull them out. That's, that's a soap. Now I'm, um, I'm putting them nice side down for a reason. We're going to put the um, succulent on the ugly side. So everything is nice and uniform. I hope you were able to see that. <laughs> see. I may have to take these gloves off when we're putting the succulents on just because I really don't have any kind of ability to <laughs> this is I really don't have any kind of ability to do anything dainty with this. So, uh, there, I'm not going to be using gloves because obviously my gloves are way too big for my little, little me hands. Um, so please excuse me for that. But, um, <clears throat> so there is a technique that you use in, uh, when you do pottery called cross hatching and it helps glue two pieces of pottery together, right? So I'm going to do that to myself. And I'm going to spray them with alcohol. And then these little guys are also going to get the treatment. Scratch, 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 and so on. And then the big guy. You don't have to do a lot of it. You don't have to do that much. You don't want to overdo it and then just, you know have a mess on your hands. We're trying to keep our area clean. <clears throat> I had some of my orange left over. So I added a little bit of my mocha brown mica to it. And this is gonna be our dirt. Now, the good thing about not filling the mold, this mold up all the way, is that it creates a little bit of a lip so it will encase this brown and it will act like a lovely little, um, I don't know, encasement, that's a word, uh, to uh, hold my dirt. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in and I'm going to press that in and we have just glued two pieces of soap together and then this one which i should have i should have added a little bit more brown to the bottom but i mean this is basically like if it just had a little bit more brown i can add more with a pipette and go around the edges the pipette will obviously be useless in 30 seconds but it'll still work Okay, so I just wanted to show you, I went around the edges with the brown and I gave it a little bit more dirt, quote unquote, so that it looks more like a planter. And then I made another using these cute little, I got these off of, uh, I think I got them off of eBay or AliExpress or something, little cupcake molds. So I made the planter out of the cupcake and I put the large succulent on top. So they're, they're mini soaps.